All right, so we've added our FK controllers and we've added our IK controllers. Now let's build a switch. So the deform bones are connected to the IK and the FK through copy transforms constraints. And what that allows us to do is to turn them off. So I'm gonna go back to my armature and I'm just gonna hit shift to turn on all the controls. We're going to add a driver to control this. So I'm gonna click on my root control here and I'm gonna to go to the bone tab and under custom properties, I'm gonna add a custom property. I'm gonna rename this to IK underscore FK underscore switch underscore left or capital L. Everything else, I just leave them as it is at default and just click OK. I know I'm gonna need this data path later, so I can just right click, copy data path. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this joint up here and the only pieces that are gonna get drivers are the deform bones. So I'm gonna click on this deform bone up here. I'm gonna to go to the constraints. I'm going to right click on the influence on the second copy transforms and I'm gonna add a driver. I'm gonna input it in this menu. So under expression, I'm gonna type in var. I'm gonna make it a single property. The prop is coming from my rig.robot. Now, remember how we copied that data path earlier? I can just do Command V or Control V on a Windows machine to paste it in there. That's it, that's the driver made. Now, var is at one by default, that's the variable. It's from my prop, my rig.robot. And the path is that custom property that we made. I'm gonna click out of here and I'm gonna do one thing. You can copy and paste drivers, so I don't have to make this three or four times. I can right click, copy driver, click on this other deform bone here, right click on the second copy transforms, paste driver. Now I can click on this third deform bone here, right click on the second copy transforms, paste driver. Now, I'm gonna turn back on my root bone here and all my control bones, and on the root, I have this new property here called IKFK switch, and I can drive that value. That is how I usually make IK and FK switches. Now I can switch between the two and the animator can choose if they wanna rotate in IK or FK, and then they can switch between the two. So in the last video, I'm just going to fix some things on the IK to make it a little bit cooler. And then we're gonna mirror this over and we're gonna complete some of the control structure in the upper part of the rig. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below about this and please check out the files on Gumroad if you really wanna see what I did underneath the surface of the rig. Bye-bye. <laughs>